Hey people. So it's been a minute since I did a video and I've been wanting to do this one for a minute because this one's kind of special and I've been excited to showcase this product for you. Oh, first and foremost, yes, my face is incomplete. I just have on foundation and skin tone concealer at the moment. And that's for a reason. But the reason is because I want to showcase two products that I have recently picked up and I've been using them. So I want to use them a little while before I made a video about them so I can make sure that I could give an accurate review. And my product, product number one is the Beauty Blender that you've seen me showcase in one of my, my November haul video. But this is my Beauty Blender. Yes, I got the pink one and yes, the pink one stains. My Beauty Blender is clean. But the pink one stands, and now I see why people get the black ones. So that's like my number one con with this with this one, but that's a color thing. Otherwise, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to show you a demo with it, too. Um, second, of course, you saw how excited I was about these, which are my Ben Nye Luxury Powders and trans Translucent Powders. Of course, I had to pick up the banana for the under eye highlight setting. And I picked up the Topaz to set my overall face because it was pretty close to my skin tone. And I like the yellowish golden color it has as a, um, yeah, it's going to tone color to itself. I don't know. got lost in that one. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how I use it. Also, too, just quick background. I have on my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Compact Foundation today in color number 6 Golden. This is what it looks like. And I like this one when I'm not wearing my black opal, which is my get ready quick. I'm putting it on with my e.l.f. flat top brush today. And, well, I forgot to do this part, but I got my eyebrow pencil strut that I was filling my eyebrows with momentarily. And also, too, I have my $1 cosmetic sponge, which I use to put the banana powder into my highlight. So, you'll see that. Alright, let's get going. Let's get going. So, for the lighter color concealer, I use the NYX Concealer Pot, and it's the color number 6 Glow. For my actual skin tone, I will use number 7, but like I said, we're doing a highlight this time. And I just take a flat concealer brush. Sorry, my mirror's down below, people, so bear with me. I'm going to put it under the eyes. Just pat it in there gently. Take it all the way up. And I must say, the first time I did this, it was really scary. And I felt like I looked like a ghost when I got done. So it definitely takes some practice. It definitely takes practice so you don't like scare yourself when you see the finished product the first time. And of course you can come down as far as you want for a more dramatic highlight. I'm actually getting ready for work so I know some might say why are you doing all this highlighting for work but I work with makeup right now so it's actually accepted. <laughs> But yeah, you put it right there. And of course, you draw it down the bridge of your nose. As such. Draw it down the bridge of your nose. Right in your cupid's bow. And below your chin. Move my hair back. Okay, at this point, you can add your contour if you want, or you can wait and do it at the end. I'm going to do mine right now. Also, too, for my contour, I use Black Opal Foundation Sticks in darker colors. If I want a subtle contour, I use the Beautiful Bronze color, which I've shown you already in the previous video. And if I want a more intense one, I use Suede Mocha, which I will use that one tonight, being that it's Friday. I want to go out. Yay! So, but for now, we're going to do a soft contour. Wow, this has become a highlighting and contouring video, and I didn't even plan on that. <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, right now, I'm going to draw it. 
And then we'll take a little contouring brush and draw down my nose part. I'm going to draw it down the sides of that highlight you just did. This is how you create shadows in your face. You're going to blend it into your, your upper brow bone of your um, eyebrows. And come all the way down and round out your nose. That'll make it more pointy or slim fitting, whichever one you prefer. All right. Oh, and of course, lastly, you want to put a little bit around the forehead area so it will look like a ghost in pictures all right we're done with that so then you take your beauty blender you wet it you squeeze it out which I've already done and it's like damp right now and at this point you press you stipple your product around by pressing it into your skin You see it's starting to blend really well. Like I'm in love with this product, by the way, guys. The Beauty Blender changed my life. I never would have contoured and highlight before this thing was like came to existence in life. So, yeah. I mean, you can do your whole foundation routine with this thing if you wanted to. contour last so that's just me but um oh yeah now the fun part now the fun part where we at banana powder you take it out it has a little shaker top when you open it and you put a little bit in the cap a little bit goes a long way so you just take it take a little one dollar cosmetic sponge you can get a pack of them at any beauty supply store or sally's and you take it and you press it into the areas where you use the lighter concealer for your highlight. Press it in. You can use more for more dramatic highlight. And keep in mind it's going to have you with a more yellow toned highlight than say a traditional translucent powder. Which some suggest is more natural. Which for my skin tone I feel like it's more natural than using a white translucent powder. That's just me. Press it into your eyes. Use as much as you need, as much as you want. Good thing about the banana powder is it's only 10 bucks as compared to using other translucent powders. Like the Makeup Forever one, it runs you like 30 plus bucks. Same with NARS. So, and they don't work as well in my opinion. But... Here we go. Press, press, press. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a delicate process. It's definitely not it's definitely not something you do when you're in a rush. Like, don't do it. It's definitely more of a going out thing. That's for sure. Hence why Kim K does it when she's always on recovery. And what's what the banana powder is known for. Okay. Look how pasty I look right now. <laughs> Okay, I am banana powdered out at this point. Then you let that sit. You can let that sit for like five minutes, ten minutes. Some people like finish at this point. You can finish and put your eyeshadow on if you wanted to. 
or any other process for right now I'm just gonna blend out the rest of my contour using the base of my beauty blender See, we're starting to get a face here for me. Get excited. And for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and brush off the highlight, the banana powder. I'm just going to take a fan brush and sweep it off. Just keep in mind, the longer you let it sit, the more dramatic your highlight will be. And because, like I said, I am going to work, I don't want it to be too dramatic. Versus when I go out, I let it sit for 10 minutes. Sorry, my hair's like gonna be crazy until like the end of this process. But yeah, banana powder, spread it out. Next, I like to set all of this lovely blended creation I have going on right now with the topaz powder. Just like the banana powder, I take off the top, sprinkle some in. I used a lot. I take a stippling brush. And some people believe in just letting the highlighted area except the banana powder just rest. Me personally, I don't like how unnatural it looks at times. So I prefer to go over everything to make sure it's all blended together with the topaz powder. That's just me. I still go over lightly with the highlighted areas and more heavily with the areas that weren't highlighted. But I just like the look of the airbrushed effect with the topaz using the stippling brush. how I highlight and contour using the what's this Ben Nye banana powder topaz powder and using the beauty blender now at the after this point you can go in with your blush highlight on top eyeshadow lipstick whatever you want to do but that is the process for the face all right thanks for watching and I'll continue doing more videos more detailed and keep subscribing thank you bye bye